Hey, hope you're all doing really well out there. It's a little warm here in Melbourne, Australia at the moment. So there might be a bit of sweat in the old brow, but I want to show you my latest build. This red acrylic thing. Actually, it's not a red acrylic thing. It is. Oh, wrong switch. A timer. A counter. A way to watch the seconds drift by and hopefully help me focus a little more. I wanted, wanted a way to see the time ticking by and understand that you know, there's only 89,400 seconds in a day. How am I going to utilize those seconds? This counter counts up to 99,999, so um, a little more than one day. It's about one and day and, I don't know, 15% or some shit, but um, it gives me a way to visualize the time ticking by and to try and focus a bit more and get busy. You know, I, there's nothing wrong with procrastinating. I think it's an important part of any maker's uh, ability to think about something and, and put it together, but also uh, sometimes I can procrastinate too much. So I wanted a way that I could see the time ticking by. So this is what I built. Um, Obviously, it counts exactly one second intervals. There's a little switch on this side here where you get super time. It really just more of a, a way to check to make sure all the seven segment displays are working okay. Uh, but it still looks pretty cool, I reckon. So I've got some red acrylic on the front. We'll go through the build, the circuit, how to put this together. It's pretty straightforward. There's literally three passive components in it, uh, the rest are ICs and some uh, seven segment LEDs, so yeah, it's a pretty fun build if you want to hone your, your soldering skills, well this is the one to do because there's a, a crap load of soldering to do, but uh, it's my first foray into time, I'm making time circuits and thinking about how to get an exact second uh, and represent that via some seven segment displays so let's start by going through the circuit and uh, what it looks like so we'll start with this section here you can see that I've got two ICs the 406 those binary counters we'll go into these a little bit further but inside each of these there is an oscillator and I don't want to use the oscillator in these I want to be able to create an oscillation at exactly one Hertz which is one second to do that I use one of these little quartz crystals. Now they vibrate at 32,768 kilohertz, which is way too fast for what I need. So I actually need to divide that by itself to get one hertz. To do that, I use these binary counters. Now, one binary counter divides by half that amount. So I've used two binary counters to get the full amount. So when I divide it, by itself, I get one hertz. You can see the crystal. Well, hopefully you can see it. It's right there. And then when I just plug an LED into the output, the LED flashes at one second exactly. It's off for one second, and it's on for one second. So now I've got a pulse output that I can use to drive a seven segment display. Now to get this running correctly you also use a, um, a 4033 IC and that will get you the seconds counting so what we can do is turn this on plug into the output now we've got a count that counts to 10 seconds exactly 10 seconds doesn't do too much for me and obviously I wanted to go up to 99,999 seconds so what I did was just string a bunch of these together to create five digits. You could theoretically string a hundred of these together if you wanted to and create a huge a huge countdown clock which would run for the longer than the universe but we don't want that but it'd be an interesting project to do. So yeah that's pretty much the main circuit. This is the PCB that I designed for this little circuit. It's actually the second iteration. The first one had a, a 9 volt battery at the back and could be also powered by 5 volts. 
I decided to remove that because I wanted to wall mount it, but if you want to have a battery one, I've kept the Gerber files and everything else, and you can find those in my um, Google Drive. Um, we'll get soldering and building this. So that's all the soldering done, board's now complete, it's pretty straightforward, I mean there's a crap load of soldering to do but it's not hard, once you get in a rhythm it happens pretty quick. Alright so let's plug in a USB, it fits in the bottom here, and we'll turn it on. So since you turn it on the five, five digits light up, uh, they're all five, five, five for some reason, who knows why but we can just reset it. And yeah, that's now counting at exactly one second intervals, which is super cool. So I've got 99,999 seconds to get through, which is about 10,000 over one day. Um, maybe there's a way I could get it to 89,000, well, exactly one day, but I'm kind of happy with 99,000. We can hit this switch on the side here, and we get super time. That's uh, just a good way of testing and making sure the board's working okay. So I went ahead and added the front panel, the red translucent acrylic cover. So all I did for that was to use one of these blank PCBs as a template, cut out the acrylic, drilled the holes, matched them up, and then uh, secured it with some little spaces you can see there. So, just reset that, looking cool, you can see that really nicely diffuses the LEDs, it's not too much, you can still see the circuit behind the acrylic, but it makes it, gives it a nice finish. You don't have to do that obviously, but it's, uh, I think it finishes it off really nicely. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to mount this, there's a couple of holes here and here, so I'll need to remove the acrylic and then mount it to the wall and then uh, yeah we're done well that was harder than I thought it was going to be but I mounted it on the wall and I reckon it looks pretty damn cool it's my constant reminder that time's ticking the focus and hopefully get busy not that I procrastinate too much but I do procrastinate a fair bit and um, I'm hoping, watching these seconds tick by, that it's going to kick me in the ass a bit and get me motivated and building, which is something I love to do, right? So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to build your own, I provide all the Gerber files along with the schematics. So you can just send the Gerber files to your manuf PCB manufacturer and away you go. Um, I've also provided the Eagle files that I designed this in so you can knock yourself out and play around with those as well. Maybe extended digits to seven or eight or a hundred, whatever you want. Yeah, had fun building it and I hope you liked it too. Um, keep on building and have fun. Speak soon.